friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today we have a thought provoking topic to discuss. How flex culture is ruining your life. My friends, in a world driven by the need to showcase an ideal lifestyle on social media, flex culture can have a detrimental impact on our mental health and overall well-being. Let's uncover the negative effects of this phenomenon and explore practical ways to avoid falling into its trap. So, if you're ready to regain control of your life, stay tuned. My friends, flex culture compels us to present a perfect life on social media, leading to constant comparison and unrealistic expectations. For example, people feel pressured to showcase luxurious vacations, expensive purchases, and perfectly curated moments creating an illusion of an ideal life that's often far from reality. The illusion of happiness. Flex culture displays the illusion that material possessions and achievements equate to happiness, leaving many feeling unsatisfied and inadequate. Individuals may feel inadequate for example, when comparing their lives to others who seem to have it all, leading to feeling of unworthiness or worthlessness. Constantly seeking validation through flex culture can take a toll on our mental health. Excessive social media use and comparing oneself to others may lead to anxiety, depression, and low self-esteem. Therefore, flex culture has a, a negative impact on our mental health. Fostering materialism. Flex culture can lead to a materialistic mindset where possessions define one's worth. For example, people may prioritize buying expensive items solely for the purpose of showing them off without considering their actual value or importance. So my friends, what are some ways that we can avoid a flex culture? Cultivate authenticity. Embrace your true self. And resist the urge to portray a picture-perfect life on social media. You can do this by sharing genuine experiences and moments that truly reflect your life, including both challenges and accomplishments. Limit social media usage. Reduce your time on social media platforms to break free from the constant comparison trap. You can do this by setting specific times for checking social media and avoid mindlessly scrolling through feeds. Focus on real-life connections. Prioritize real-life interactions and meaningful relationships over virtual likes and comments. You can do this by spending time, spending quality time with loved ones Engage in hobbies and cultivate in-person connections. Gratitude practice. My friends, foster a gratitude practice to appreciate the blessings in your life rather than seeking validation from others. Regularly write down things you are grateful for, focusing on the positive aspects of your own life. My YouTube friends, flex culture may have a negative impact on our lives, but we have the power to resist its negative impact. Embrace authenticity, limit social media usage, focus on real life connections, and cultivate gratitude to break free from the clutches of flex culture. Remember, true friendship 
or even true happiness lies in being content with who you are and cherishing the genuine moments that make life beautiful. Thanks for watching and let's reclaim our lives from the grasp of flex culture. Stay true to yourself and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.